when my car broke down and I got a hotel, I was thinking, wow, this is like a vacation. And then now I'm in my hotel and this lamp behind me has no light bulb. The alarm clock doesn't work. I've got the hard toilet paper. I'm like sitting here going, this is not as much of a vacation as I thought. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about that. What I'm talking about is the last hateful Supreme Court. So um, throughout history, we've had some pretty hateful Supreme Courts, right? And even though we've had some pretty hateful people on the Supreme Courts, we've managed to get some legislation through, or we've, we've managed to stop certain things. For example, like I, I mentioned in a previous video, um, there, Virginia banned inter, interracial marriage. This is, the Supreme Court voted it down. And what I told John Roberts, who is the head of the Supreme Court, he was appointed by George Bush, George W. Bush. And um, what I told him is that you're gonna go down in history as like one of those people who um, was hateful through their, like a Supreme Court person who's hateful, and Alito will also, and so will Clarence Thomas. And everyone's going, wait, Clarence Thomas is black. Black people can't be hateful. Everyone knows black people can't be hateful. <laughs> okay, who are like some of the most hateful people in the world? Black people. And I mean, who are actually the most hateful people in the world? Arabs. But can Arabs be black? Of course. And can... Is Clarence Thomas is going, I'm not hateful, I love Jesus. You love Jesus, so you hate gay people. I don't hate gay people, I just think they shouldn't have equal rights because they're gay. And it's like, okay, I, I really don't think you understand that like, you basically just made sure that Jim Crow is legal. And, and you didn't because everyone else voted against you. But I'm just saying Clarence Thomas is gonna be very famous as like in the history books, when people study constitutional law, here's the hateful black guy. He's like the the blind white supremacist, <laughs> the black guy who doesn't know he's black. And we, we decided not to tell him he was black. And and then he then then they tell him he's <laughs> then they tell me like they tell him he's black. Like oh well, no, they don't tell him he's black. He accidentally finds out he's black, and then and then he divorces his wife, who's blind also because she's with a nigger lover. <laughs> he's like I can't be married to a nigger lover. He's like she didn't know you were black. <laughs> <laughs> you really hate yourself, don't you? Okay, Clarence Thomas clearly would make sure black people have rights, but he doesn't think gay people should have rights. And so it doesn't matter if you think you, you, I deserve equal rights. What matters is if you think that everyone deserves equal rights. And if you don't think that, then you become the person who's hateful. Okay, or that's, that's famous for being hateful. So John Roberts, my understanding is that like he was obligated to be against gay marriage because George Bush, his identity, like who he act, who he is, is against gay people. It's like, what? How can you have an identity that's against gay marriage? Dude, he think he believed that gay people will ruin America. They will, they will, they will ruin everything, but because they get married and it's going to ruin everyone else's marriages. It's not like people are, don't already have terrible marriages. Let's face it, especially when you're married to someone as stupid as some of these religious nuts and, you, and your entire life revolves around the, the religion. I'm just saying, like, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so this Supreme Court, what's my opinion about them? I think that there will come a day when they're impeached and we have a new Supreme Court. And this court will be known as the hate court and, or, the, or the blackmail court. That's what it's going to be called because they're, they haven't actually, I haven't seen them vote in a hateful way yet because they have three new justices that came from Trump. Um, but Alito is going to be famous. Like Alito is going to be known as like the hate guy. And so is Clarence Thomas. And so is, I, I, and I don't think John Edwards should be, or John, not John Edwards, John Roberts. Um, like I, 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 supposedly he's not a hateful person. People that actually know John Roberts, like, actually respect him but um do i respect john roberts not really no no like i mean bottom line is what's going to happen with my case which this is completely separate than that i don't respect him because the gay marriage thing now that i know it's not in the constitution i was lied to before george bush's supporters were all running around lying to everyone saying oh this is the constitution man and woman the constitution says it they repeated it over and over again Lies, knowingly lying, or maybe they didn't know it. Um, but um, 
I'm just saying, this court, once they're gone, they're going to be known as the court that had to get impeached, who was full of people that are like radical religious nuts that were against constitutional rights to the point like, okay, so the, the Supreme Court reads the Constitution and interprets it when there's gray area. The fact that I don't have a right to tr speedy trial, the fact that I don't have a right to an attorney that doesn't lie to me, like my attorney told me, my, my attorney is about to defend me in court. And he's about to say, I'm competent. He says that he's going to take his, the stance on my side. He just told me that I have to be declared competent according to the Constitution. So this guy's lying to me. And the real question is, why is he lying? Is it because he's stupid or is he lying because he's against me? And I don't think he's stupid. I think it's pretty hard to can, to like, I mean, he's, he shouldn't, she, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking. It's like six minutes into this video, but like, how do you end up with an attorney who lies to you like my mom lied to me? And, and like these, these church people have lied to me my entire life saying, oh, marriage defines, marriage is defined in the constitution as between a man and a woman. Oh, oh, and the constitution says you have to be declared competent in order to have the right to free speech, the right to have a religion, the right to um, have a gun. You just have to be declared competent in order to have the right to have a speedy trial. You have to be declared competent in order to be, uh, have, have, have people testify against you. You have to be competent in order to not have your property stolen from you. If you're not competent, according to the psychiatrist that this judge found for you, wait, no, it wasn't the judge. It's the guy who's lying to you. Your lawyer, the guy who's lying to you, found this, found this, this psychiatrist for you. The guy who, for some reason, thinks that the Constitution says I have to be declared competent in order to have rights at all. So for some reason, this guy who lies gets to be, you know, you have the right to account, you have the right to counsel, wait, no, you have a right to have a guy take over your counsel. Like, he doesn't even have to counsel with you. He'll lie to you, and then he's going to be who, who represents you completely. Because you can't go to court without getting arrested. So, like, when I go to this competency hearing, do you know what I'm saying to this judge? Either nothing, or I'm going to read a written statement. Um, because... He put me in in jail for absolutely nothing, and then when I went in, when I got put in jail, every they, they tried to get me hurt. They try they they like put me with this guy that hates Jewish people when I identified as a Jewish person. They put me with a guy that I that hates gay people when I identify as a gay person. They put me with the freaking biggest psychopaths in the entire Colorado jail. Not because they were intimidating me into like accidentally losing all my constitutional rights. It was because I, what? It's because I have a bunch of religious nuts that are after me, that are like straight up psychopath. And they, they, they don't know, they're like, you can't say I'm like Muhammad Atta, I don't wanna blow up anyone. Muhammad Atta was fucked up in the head because he had been getting drilled, it had been drilled into his head over and over again that the, the reason he's horny, even though he hasn't had sex forever, is because the women aren't wearing freaking hijabs. And if the freaking women would just wear the freaking hijabs, if they would just freaking put on a freaking hijab, I wouldn't be so freaking horny. So what I'm saying is, um, it's kind of like blaming the gay people for all your problems. It's like, if only the gay people would not get married, our country would be great again. Uh, if only we pick this guy who's like incredibly immoral. I'm talking about Donald Trump, who's incredibly fucked up in the head. Who like, I mean, the only thing that's good about him is he's good at business, but sometimes being good at business means you're a nasty person. Uh, that, that's, who, that's who we're going to make sure is protecting our, our country. Because God chose him. We know God's on his side. He has an R next to his name. I fucking swear to God, you people are like that. Like, do you know how much more of a Christian I am than Donald Trump? I'm a, I'm a full-blown atheist. Like, I'm, I am, I'm not, I'm not an atheist. I'm an anti-theist. Like, I am more than an atheist. I am a freaking against theists. Donald Trump, the last thing that guy is, is actually a theist. Because you know why? He's not stupid. He's one of the people, he's like me if I was a liar. I could trick all you guys into being fucking stupid. And, and, and believe me, trust me, you think I could be the best pastor of all time? You think I could be so freaking rich if I was full of shit? Yeah, I could be. I'm not like that. Donald Trump is.